Hello gamers, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Now I'm going to keep this intro really short because we have a lot to talk about. The PC gaming show just aired today and with it came the new trailer for Core Keeper Sunken Sea. So this is a massive update. It is the first major update that's coming to the game. It will be released on June 15th. So here in just two short days, we'll be able to finally sink our teeth into the Sunken Sea update. And I gotta say, I am so excited for it. I've been waiting for this for weeks, and I really can't wait. So, before we get to the video, if you guys would please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, it's time to take a look at this trailer. I am gonna turn the volume down really low. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna mute it. So, right off the bat, we have the, like, a sunken ship right here. Now, this structure right here actually pops up a couple different times within this trailer. So I'm really curious, is this just something that we can stumble across out there in the world? Or is this like the area before the boss? So I'm excited to see what's going on with this area because it is a reoccurring pattern in this video that I've seen a few times. And it looks like we have the new vending machine up here at the top right, which we'll see more of that in just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and play the video. We are gonna see our characters coming in on the new boats on the left side. It looks like they're made out of wood and scarlet, so if you haven't farmed up some scarlet ore, make sure you grab a few extra stacks because uh, we're definitely going to be burning through a little bit of scarlet here. So as they progress through this area, there is a new door. I don't know what the door is going to lead to, but probably not something very friendly on the other side. Now, over to the next few frames, we have a new wood type in this area. We got some X's on the ground, so you are going to be able to get some of the collectibles, and there are new collectibles going on in this uh, new expansion. So, that's really nice. I do like collecting everything. Now, you can trade a lot of this stuff on the forums. Personally, I've already collected every item in the game, so I'm excited to add more to my collection. One thing that really stands out in this um, picture here is the new ore type is here. It's this blue color on the outside and then like a pinkish color on the inside. And this is actually something that you will see throughout this trailer because the brand new sword, it's actually the one the character is holding in the thumbnail. He actually has the new weapon and it's made out of this new ore. So you are going to have to travel to the new biome to be able to craft the newest items, the new legendary sword and some of the other stuff. So nothing else really going on in this area. We got some plants here, shells, and these like land jellies. I'm not really sure what's going on with those, if we can break them or what. Let's go ahead and move on. Now in the next frame, this item here that has like a glow tulip icon on it, I've seen this several times again throughout this trailer, and I'm not sure what it could be or what it's really used for. But you will see it often. We have the tentacles in the water over here, and we have this giant like land jelly over here. The new trees, which we've already seen in multiple other screenshots of the game. And other than that, there's not really much going on. Uh, the characters are using the regular weapons that we've already seen in the game so far. Now let's go ahead and go forward a little bit more. Here um, we see quite a few new things. We got the new crab. It's an enemy type here. He's uh, damaging our player. He kind of blows bubbles. I'm not sure how much it does. But we also have those things um, again. We have the glow tulip on the wooden... Uh, panel right here and then we have another icon there um a new fence right here which is probably made out of the new wood type and then over here on the right uh there's really not much going on it's just more of the new plants there's something on the pedestal here but it looks like one of the new or one of the collectibles we already had in the game now as we go down further we have the new like floor type which is probably also made out of the new wood and then as we go down a little bit more, this character down here actually has like a purple fishing rod. If you look closely, it looks like it's made out of the new ore. So maybe this will be something that's actually better than the scarlet fishing rod. So what would be the difference between the scarlet one and that one? I'm not really sure. If it makes catching the fish a lot easier, that would be really great because leveling up these skill trees is pretty difficult. Now as you watch here, these characters are just doing a normal like shooting range that they made. But the thing to see is they are actually not using a slingshot or anything like that. If you look closely, they have a bow on them. And then on these pedestals, there's like a wooden type bow here and then another one. And then down here on the table, you see another two bows. So bow and arrows, new ranged weapons confirmed. I'm really excited excited to see that. And then over here, we have this fishing rack that we've also seen a lot. I'm not really sure if it's just going to be to store some fish for display, like new decorations. I'm assuming that's probably what it's going to be. 
And then we have some other food items on the pedestals down here. I will say all the stuff that was on these pedestals are actually something we've had before, except this looks like a new like cola drink and there's another one down here. So moving on, we got sprinklers, finally. These look like the water in like a two by two radius maybe. Um, it kind of just goes in a circle like this, rotates. So that's very exciting because farming wasn't the greatest when the game first came out. But now that we have the new hoe and we have sprinklers, it's going to be a lot less of a chore to do. Moving on to the next section, we have the vending machine. It says buy up here. We got some food items here and then down here in the middle. Um, let's back it up just a little bit. We have the core figurine. It's almost 4,000 ancient coins. So make sure you're saving up some ancient coins to buy some of this stuff because, uh, over here on the right, we actually have a new card, which is a collectible. We currently have three in the game. This will be four. And if you're like me, you want to collect every item in the game. I'm assuming this is going to be pretty expensive along with this brand new ring that's over here. Now, the best way currently to get ancient coins, I have a video on it, but you could just sell a bunch of conveyor belts or some stacks of food. They give you a ton of uh, ancient coins, so make sure you do that. We have some new food types here, a cola. We got a cave coffee, which gives you 23.1% movement speed. And then up here, we have a glazed heart berry, which gives you plus 10 food, plus 65 max health for five minutes, and it sells for 96 ancient coin. All right, so we have a first look at the teleporters. These are actually really cool. It's like a whirlpool in the middle. Now, I'm not sure if we're only going to be able to link these up to one other one or if we can pick and choose. I'm assuming you'll probably just be able to set up like this one goes to another one. And uh, I don't think we'll be able to have multiple. But if we did, that'd be really cool. We have a new floor type right here. The teleporter is obviously going to teleport us to another one around the map. He pops out over here in his island base. We got some new fish up here on the pedestals. Um, this is obviously in the new island biome. We got some more of these panels. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm really curious about these. And then the character down here is using the regular fishing rod. And these guys are using the iron fishing rod. So this is just a little image of our boats going by pretty dang quickly. Some characters doing some fishing. Now we get up to this wall. And this is really interesting because... I don't know if this is going to take us to the boss or just to another area that has some loot and you're going to take on the other mobs like the core sentry. But this character is using a glow tulip. It looks like to light up the door. I'm hoping it's a lot more difficult to get through this door and there's some other steps instead of just bringing a glow tulip with you. Because that'd be a little bit of a letdown. I'm hoping we get a lot of challenging things in this game, uh, in this new update. Because everything at this point, mainly because my character is pretty dang powerful... I want, I want a challenge in the game, so fingers crossed that there's some more steps to get to some of the end game. Now, as we go on to the next section, we have the new anvil. It's also the blue and, like, pinkish purple color, and it looks like he crafted the new helmet. So we got this new helmet, same color. Over here on the right is the new sword. It's the one that's also in the thumbnail and the, some of the screenshots. It is, like, a purple arrow on the inside, and then the outside is a blue arrow. So, very cool. I'm excited to get that weapon. I'm assuming it's something a little more difficult to craft instead of just getting this anvil and then crafting it. I'm hoping it's kind of like the rune song. We have to get multiple pieces or get something or defeat one of the new bosses to be able to craft it. Now, something that's interesting about this new um, armor set, if we go over to the next section, he's actually using the full set with the sword and he's running around in the mold biome. So maybe this will mean that it won't slow us down at all because he's just running around uh, fighting all these mobs and he doesn't seem to be phased by the debuff that actually slows you down whenever you're moving through there. So on the next screen, it looks like we have the new fishing rod again. Well, this character's using here. They're all going towards, I'm assuming it's the boss. We're going to have a ton of these tentacles. Once you break through, uh, you'll be able to take on the boss. Now, this is something that's seriously cool. We have a new slime type. It is a blue slime. We got the blue slime on the ground. It looks really cool. I'm excited to make a mob farm out of this. And here we are. We have the core sentries. There are multiple ones of them in this area, and they are really big. I thought they were going to be smaller than this. I wasn't expecting them to be so massive. So this is definitely going to be an end game, pretty dangerous area. And then we also have these new like shaman characters here. They're like wizards. And it looks like they're powering up maybe the the enemies. I don't know if 
they're doing damage to us or they were doing damage to the core centuries. So here we are with the boss fight. This is going to be the new boss and I will definitely within the first few hours of release of this content. I'm going to try my hardest to get to this boss and show you the best way to beat him. Like I said, I'm hoping he's really difficult and there are a lot of different mechanics within it because I would like that. Now, having a land and sea battle sounds really cool. I'm assuming the boss probably teleports between these three uh, whirlpools that are right here. And he also sends out a lot of tornadoes our way. So you're going to have to get in your boat to navigate and dodge some of the attacks. So super cool update. I'm super excited with it. Uh... They've done a lot of hard work, and uh, it's really showing. So this is the new sword like I was telling you about earlier. And yeah, I'm just saying I'm like so pumped to play this. I'm glad I came across Core Keeper because it's been one of them hidden gems that have just been exploding. Uh, it's getting more and more popular, and I, I really hope more people come across this game because it is so fun to play. That is it for my breakdown. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'll definitely help you and show you some tips that will help you with the new content because it looks like it's going to be pretty dang challenging and there's a lot of stuff that's really going to extend the longevity of the game. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one.